Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD, and these are the things I wish I knew before post game edition. So, this video is going to be much uh, simpler uh, than my previous uh, video. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that really helped me out throughout the game. And I knew these things because I was comparing myself to my cousin who was playing uh, this, this game. So, uh, how it was different from me than to him. So yeah, I'm just going to mention uh, those things and hopefully it's going to help out uh, some of the newcomers and even the veterans in this game as well. So yeah, so if there's any confusion about something and maybe some tricks and some other stuff maybe somebody is just neglecting or don't know about, I'm going to try to mention these in this video. And I think yeah, this is going to be my final video on the tips and tricks or the things I wish I knew uh, earlier edition. So yeah guys, um, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for this uh, support and uh, yeah, let's start. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Regen. It's in the defense skills category. Regen is a passive skill. Make sure you equip it on everyone. So this is really important because uh, I was seeing that my cousin, even though we were like the same level, uh, he was dying a lot. He was really dying a lot and he was spending a lot of uh, his money and, uh, and items in creating herbs. but. I was having no difficulty because of this uh, regeneration because I was uh, equipped with this uh, health region so this is really important especially during your first few chapters and to be honest I have this from the beginning of the game till now. The next one that I want to mention is the statues. Of course when you start the game you see a bunch of statues all around the map and you think oh they all look the same but in reality no they are different they are the trials for the swords or the trials of, of sheath warrior and we have these the female statues these are the ones which give the second art so each one of these statues is different sometimes if you interact with them and it does not work is because uh, some of these statues are for different levels of your second arts for example here this is a metal plate this is a level one i don't have the level one for the metal plate so this statue you see here is for the level three metal plate since i don't have level uh, two i cannot interact with the level three unless I have the level 2 so you need to go in that order it should be in that order 1 2 and then 3 next we're going to talk about uh, materials uh, shops if you pick up a material in the world it, there's a good chance that you will be able uh, to buy it uh, from the materials shop so if you pick up an item then just come here and get it but the biggest example is the limestone so since you if you farm limestones once then you will be able to get it from here even though it's very expensive so i recommend you to check our guides on, on that and how to obtain it but yeah since if you're doing a side quest or a service quest or something like that and they ask you for material if there is a chance that you picked it once that they, they might sell it so just come and check the shops and instead of you just wandering around trying to find that item again so yeah do this uh, it's gonna help you a lot uh, a lot sorry and it's gonna save a lot of time as you can see all of these materials yeah, they are expensive, but if you want to get a, a bunch of cash, then check out our uh, XP video as well, or sorry, the money video as well, which will help you a lot. So the game almost takes you everywhere, so you will check all of the maps and everything in the game, except some of the locations are hidden or you just don't go through to them. I mean, like, they will, it will never take you to these locations. You have to explore it by yourself. So this is the snow area. We can access it from the Ruble uh, Green Belt, if you access from the north inside. So from this change area, we can go to this uh, new location. Even though the game will never tell you about it, they will never take you this. Then we have the Crist Cove, which you can access from the Vise Valley. If you just look at the southwest uh, change area, and you will be able to get to these two, two areas. So these two areas are areas that the game will never take, it, take you to them. So you just need to explore by yourself. You might find new items or some other stuff. Then I'm going to talk about the personal codes. Each character have two personal codes. Which, uh, which we can, if we get 100% on, on these two personal codes, then we will be able to equip them on our friends. For example, if a, a personal code that gives XP, more XP or maybe uh, makes your drop rate better, you can actually get 100% on that personal code from the Affinity game, then you will be able to equip it on the other allies. So this is really helpful, I didn't know about that. Um, I mean, I was just uh, equipping my, what's it called, having my ally, these people in my party and playing with them, even though I don't want them. But like I said, you can actually get 100% and you can just equip them with whomever you want. Especially here, as you can see here, uh, the Heartbreaker, this will give more affinity. So if you equip this to all of your um, other allies, it will make uh, reaching max affinity so fast. 
maybe you want to uh, hunt for like uh, uh, items then you can just uh, choose Afina's uh, personal code on everyone and you will get a better drop rate so yeah do the affinity get 100% in the uh, persona and anima and you will be able to equip it on the other friends then I'm gonna talk about the no weapon no party uh, I didn't have a bow and I had a Dizzledort or Dizzlebird in my party and he was frankly useless because I didn't have the weapon I couldn't unlock his uh, sword skills so yeah do check do check your allies if they don't have the abilities if you don't have the abilities they are frankly useless so don't uh, have them in your party especially Renly Renly uh, since he since he has the boomerangs and you don't have the abilities uh, for him at the beginning unless you do the affinity thing he's frankly useless so don't have him in your party so always check always check make sure this is why I say always get the weapons all of the weapons so you unlock uh, the weapon skills tree so you can give them skills otherwise don't have these guys in your party they're just gonna sit idly maybe they will just do a hit or two uh, randomly at, at different times actually when the hazard gauge reaches max you can actually down an enemy in this state I recommend never to use ally skills use enhanced armament or uh, what is it called the recollection which is the memory attack whatever but on a downed enemy never use an ally skills never use the ally skills it will never work and sometimes even on the clamps or even on the clamps it will never work the ally skills never work on the clamps and the uh, downed uh, monsters so don't use them and even on the clamps sometimes the uh, what is it called the memory skill or the enhanced armament will never work as well so use finish arts uh, when the what's called when the monster is downed or uh, enhanced armament or the other one on the downed monsters on the clamps don't take any risks only use the finish arts really as you can see now I'm just gonna uh, show it to you that it's, it's not working I'm gonna use the ally skills there's nothing there is no prompts for me to see and as you can see all of my allies are alive so yeah it's just not gonna work out I lost the gauge bummer right so yeah this is something that uh, I really need to uh, focus on especially when you're fighting <laughs> with the uh, final bosses or something like that or maybe you spend a lot of time to get the arts gauge uh, max and it's not gonna work here as you can see the enemy was not down and I could use the ally skills just normally and it's, it's completely completely fine so building on the arts gauge uh, there is the distance as you know when you do the uh, the enhanced armament or the finish arts or whatever uh, you need to be very close to the monster if you are being somewhat behind don't take the risk and and use the ability uh, you will be uh, you will miss the the monster you will miss the attack so always be close to them and make sure they are just uh, they're not dodging or anything like that because there are some bosses who dodge so just make sure they are in a state where they're not gonna move and they are close then use the ability as you can see here I was far away and I missed it so this is something that you need to be careful the thing is that, that I'm, I'm emphasizing on the arts gauge a lot because I, I missed I hate it when I miss uh, these attacks uh, then we have the food food is something that really I never used it I didn't even cook throughout the game but in reality it's really important and it will help you a lot it will give you all of these uh, buffs so why not use them so yeah make sure you cook a lot you unlock new recipes even if you don't have them just go to the shops get them and go to new towns try to see what they have uh, get these food they will really help you a lot they will help you a lot with your um, attack speed or the attack powers or the maybe the skills that you want to connect maybe it will increase your affinity so all of these things so always get a bunch have them with you whenever you're fighting just use one especially on the bosses it will really help you a lot it will slightly make the game easier for you so always do check the shops just cook by yourself if you have you have the recipes and yeah the wayfarers I talked about uh, this a lot and we see them on the map and uh, we just uh, we just don't want to hassle like uh, going and grabbing them and putting in our party the thing is you can just put them once and they will be with you for a while even if you teleport to a new map they are with you they will never leave you so always just invite them in a party and even if you change the map if you go to a new area they will follow you so there is no harm uh, about getting them I know I talked about this uh, before that hey hire them but in, some people think that hey I, whenever I go to a new map I need to hire them again no 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 you don't need to you just 
pick them once and they will follow you actually everywhere and they actually have some nice abilities as well as you will see them doing really have nice abilities they're taunting the monsters they are uh, getting them away from you all of the, yeah it will help you especially if you're trying to like um, uh, fight a big monsters and, and gain some xp as well and my final point is the day cycle and the reset as you know we have items and flowers blah 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 on this game actually if you just save the game and you get out everything will be reset the spawn rate will be, will be reset and here we are in a town and this is the day cycle that i'm talking about as you can see there's no one in the town there are no service quests nothing in the town the reason is that is because everybody is sleeping <laughs> so sometimes if you don't see a quest make sure or if you want to do a quest make sure that you go there at noon or in the morning so that uh, these guys will spawn actually for you to be able to do the quests so yeah some NPCs and even some plants they only bloom at night so these kind of things, the day and night cycle, it really uh, works. I mean, uh, there are these uh, things that work with it, like for example, the service quests, uh, the spawn rate of some uh, flowers or, or plants. And uh, if you just save the game and if you just get out of the menu and come back, uh, things will reset. The, the spawn rate will reset if you're doing the wild roses, for example. One of the, as one of the guys uh, said uh, that, yeah, things will reset. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, staying with us with this uh, simple uh, things I wish I knew before post game edition. Thanks for the awesome support really guys. And as always, stay awesome and peace.